Hey y'all, what's good, what's poppin'? So for today's video, I'm coming at y'all with another makeup related video. I wanna do another everyday makeup routine, but today specifically, I wanna touch on my everyday makeup routine as it pertains to the summertime. As the weather changes, obviously I like to change up my skincare and makeup routine a little bit just to kind of match my skin concerns as everything's changing. So for today, I'm just gonna go ahead and touch on my everyday makeup routine during the summer and all the extra steps I like to do to help improve the longevity of my makeup as well as protecting my skin from environmental stress stressors, UV radiation, and things like that. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. We're gonna be doing my everyday updated makeup routine for summer. If y'all are interested in watching that video, be sure to stick around till the end. Before we get into it though, I do just wanna say thank you to all my new and returning subscribers out there. Thank y'all so much for sticking around, supporting my content, and helping me to grow my channel. If you are new here and you haven't already, please be sure to just go ahead and click that subscribe button and the bell button as well so that you can get a notification every time I upload a new video. And with that being said, let's get into it. All right, y'all, before I get into the makeup routine, I do just wanna go ahead and go through my off-camera skincare routine real quick just because skincare is really important for makeup application especially in the summertime skincare is what lays a foundation for what kind of canvas we're working with for our makeup so I kept it real simple today I only used three steps it is summertime so I don't really need to worry about using all these steps to infuse moisture into my skin so I went ahead and washed my face in the shower and then straight out the shower I went ahead and misted my skin with this Illyune Ceramide Atto Water Lotion this just helps to hydrate the skin to prep it for the subsequent skincare steps so that everything can absorb better and this also contains ceramides which help to fortify and rebuild that natural skin's lipid barrier and then after that I didn't go in with a serum or anything I just skipped straight to moisturizer and I went ahead and used this Naturia multi-peptide moisturizer and this is what that looks like this is a really nice moisturizer for daytime or nighttime it's not too lightweight or too heavy it's somewhere right in the middle and we've got some really good ingredients in here as well we've got peptides which help to plump up the skin we've got vitamin C which has antioxidant benefits it helps to fight off free radical damage and it helps promote an even skin tone. We've got panthenol which helps to hydrate the skin and also help to fortify that natural skin lipid barrier. So again I like using this as my moisturizer. Not too lightweight, not too heavy, somewhere right in the middle and it's got some really good solid ingredients in here. And then for my SPF I'm using this Hado Labo UV White Gel SPF 50 PA4 Plus. It is a really nice sunscreen. It absorbs into the skin really well. It doesn't leave that heavy greasy feeling that some western sunscreens have. It just dries down to a nice natural skin like finish. It absorbs into the skin really well. This is really good for my oily skin type. It doesn't look too oily when I apply it and it wears well throughout the day and in addition This is giving us SPF 50 PA 4 plus UV protection So we've got top tier broad spectrum UVA and UVB protection So that's what I'm using as my sunscreen and that's it for my off-camera skincare routine Like I said, just kept it real simple. So with that out the way now I'm ready to actually get into the makeup application I've done quite a few different everyday makeup routines But when it comes to my everyday makeup routine for summer I do like to throw in a couple extra steps just to go ahead and help weatherproof my makeup help to lock it in and keep it safe from um, the heat, the humidity, and also help protect my skin from environmental stressors like pollution, UV rays, and stuff like that. So we're gonna go ahead and get into it. So the first step for my everyday makeup routine for the summertime is I like to go ahead and go in with a primer. Specifically, I like using this Supergoop Mineral Matte Screen SPF 40, and this is what that looks like. So this is a pore blurring mattifying primer. It really helps to smooth over the appearance of pores, and it really gives a nice base for you to apply makeup products on on top. It really just helps to smooth everything over if you've got texture issues things like that it helps to smooth that over if you already got pretty good skin and you don't need coverage you just want to improve the texture a little bit and tone down the shine honestly on days when I have really good skin days I'll just go ahead and apply this to help just give my skin a nice blurred skin effect and give my sunscreen underneath a little bit of a boost and that's honestly all I need and it does have SPF 40 we've got 100% mineral sunscreen filters in here we've got 17% zinc oxide and 0.7% titanium dioxide this does have a slight tint though it does blend beautifully into my skin tone it doesn't wash me out or change my underlying skin tone and the tint really helps to also neutralize any potential flashback or white cast that the mineral filters would give it so all in all I really love this this just really gives me a nice my skin but better look when I want to help protect my makeup from the humidity the heat and I want to help protect my skin a little bit extra from the UV rays this is a really good option that I'd like to reach for so I went ahead and shook it up a little bit and what I like to do is I like to just go ahead and apply some right to the forehead down the bridge of the nose and then right to the cheeks as well so I don't like to apply this directly to the whole face I like to concentrate it here in these key areas here the t-zone this is a pore blurring mattifying primer so I like to focus it where I have the most issue with texture and pores coincidentally these are also the areas of my skin that have the most sun exposure because of the way you know your face is angled so by applying it to these areas it helps to smooth out that texture it's gonna help with controlling that oil and that shine throughout the day and again it's gonna give my sunscreen underneath 
make a little bit of a boost and help provide a little bit of extra UV protection. Now obviously I'm probably not getting the amount of SPF advertised in the bottle because I'm not applying enough of this product to get the advertised SPF, but every little bit of SPF that you apply does have a little bit of an extra cumulative sun protective effect. And I've already gone ahead and applied an adequate amount of sunscreen in my skincare routine, so this is just a nice welcome boost of SPF. And I'm also gonna go ahead and apply a little bit to the neck as well, help smooth that out. Okay, so I went ahead and applied the primer to the middle of my face, right in the T-zone, and then worked it outwards and then blended it down to the neck. Now looking here in the mirror, already I'm looking really good. My pores are blurred out. Any of the fine lines that I have going on on the skin, all those have been smoothed over. And honestly, my skin just feels nice and silky. It's ready for me to go ahead and apply product on top. I do have some hyperpigmentation that I wanna go ahead and cover up. So I'm gonna go in with a concealer to cover those up, and then I'm gonna go in with a very light layer of a skin tint to just even everything out. So for my concealer, I'm using this Fenty Pro Filter Instant Retouch Concealer. This is in the shade 290. And I'm just gonna go ahead and apply it to any areas where I have some discoloration that I wanna cover up. So I've gone ahead and covered up all of my hyperpigmentation and discoloration that I want to correct. So I'm going to go ahead and let the concealer actually set for a second. That way, when I go ahead and actually blend it out, it doesn't just disappear into the skin. I want it to actually give me some coverage and stick around. So I'm going to give it a second to just dry down, set, and then after I've let it do that, I'll go ahead and blend it out. So I let the concealer set for a couple minutes, really just let it sit on the skin, settle down, and now I'm ready to go ahead and blend it out. So I'm going to take this Morphe M173 brush, and I'm just going to go ahead and buff out the concealer, mainly focusing on buffing out the edges and leaving the main part of the concealer undisturbed. That way I still have all that coverage on the hyperpigmentation and the discoloration I have going on. So now I've gone ahead and worked the concealer out, worked it into the skin, everything's all blended out, looking nice and seamless with the rest of the skin. Now I just wanna go in with a little bit of a skin tint to just kind of further even out my skin tone, but I don't wanna go in with a heavy foundation or anything like that because I'm not looking for too much coverage. I really wanted the concealer to do the heavy lifting here, that way I don't have to go in with too much of a complexion product on top just because I don't wanna be sweating it off and looking all crusty and whatnot. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this Fenty Beauty Ease Drop Blurring Skin Tint. I have mine here in the shade 10. And I'm just gonna go ahead and apply a real light layer on top of the skin just to go ahead and help further even everything out and to help blend the concealer into the skin a little bit better. So I've applied a little bit to the skin, not too much. Like I said, I'm just looking to really even out my skin tone and to help further blend the concealer into my complexion. I'm not really looking for coverage or anything with this. I'm just gonna go ahead and take a damp beauty blender and work the skin tint into the skin. Now I love me some Fenty complexion products when it comes to wearing a full face during the day especially during the summer. Pretty much every foundation product from Fenty is long wearing, water resistant, sweat resistant, crease resistant, transfer resistant, all that good stuff. And this is no exception. It is a blurring skin tint and piling this on top of the Super Goop matte screen really just amplifies the skin blurring effect. It's really giving me a nice smoothed out skin appearance right now. My pores have literally just like vanished. And usually my preference is to apply my foundation products with a brush, but for some reason, I actually prefer to blend this out with a beauty sponge. I just feel like it blends so much better into the skin. That way it looks so much more natural and seamless. All right, so here's the complexion so far. We've got primer, concealer, and a little bit of a skin tint going on on top, and that's what we're looking like. Coverage is pretty flawless. Everything's pretty much covered up, and I didn't really have to go in with too much product. I really let the concealer do the heavy lifting, so I could just go in with a light layer of the skin tint, and then the primer underneath really just helped everything to apply smoothly and beautifully. My pores are blurred out. They literally don't exist. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and set my face with a little bit of setting powder. Now, I don't always use setting powder especially for just like an everyday natural makeup look I don't like to use too many powders just because I don't really want to have a powdery skin look but in the summertime powders are really good because they help to control excess oil and they really help to extend the longevity of makeup as well so I'm just gonna go ahead and take a light dusting of one on top of my foundation and everything just to go ahead and set it I'm using a powder from this brand it's called privacy and it's this UV face powder SPF 50 PA 4 plus so this is a Japanese brand brand I believe and it's a setting powder but as you can tell from the name of the 
packaging. This also has some SPF in here. So I went ahead and got some powder here in the pan. I'm just gonna go ahead and swirl my brush around, tap off the excess, and then I'm just gonna go ahead and tap this all over the complexion. I'm gonna mainly focus on the T-zone area because again, these are the areas where I tend to get the most oily, where my makeup tends to break up first. And then with whatever's left over, I'm just gonna go ahead and brush that around the perimeter of the face and down the neck to help set everything. So now that I've done the complexion, gone ahead and set my face, I'm ready to get into my favorite makeup step, and that is bronzer. So today I'm gonna be using a new bronzer. I've actually never featured this product on my channel before, and it's actually a new release in general. So it's this By Mario Soft Skull Bronzer. So this is a new release from Kim Kardashian's makeup artist Mario. He recently released some bronzers, and I went ahead and picked up the bronzer in the shade medium, so that's what that looks like. I'm gonna go ahead and take this Fenty 190 bronzer brush, and I'm just gonna go ahead and take some on the brush and just bronze my complexion with this. I've actually never used this product before. It's my first time. I don't know what to expect, but honestly, Kim's makeup always looks good, so I have no doubts it's gonna be a great bronzer. And I'm just gonna take my time bronzing up. I don't wanna go in too heavy. I don't wanna use too much product. So I'm just gonna dip bit by bit and build up the bronzer until I get my desired bronze. All right, y'all, so I'm all bronzed up, and this is what we're looking like. So I went ahead and just hit my face wherever the sun would naturally hit, focusing here on the forehead, on the high points of the cheek, down the bridge of the nose, I hit the chin a little bit, and then, of course, I hit the neck and the ears because we want everything to blend together and match. Next, I just want to throw on a couple of finishing touches to my makeup look. So I'm going to go ahead and set my brows in place with this NYX Bear With Me Brow Setter. So I really love this because it has a nice hold. It's not too lightweight but it's not too heavy either. My brows, personally, once I brush them in place, they don't tend to move all that much, so I don't really need a super heavy hold brow setter. And unlike a lot of brow gels I've used in the past, this one is actually really comfortable on the brows. We've got hemp oil in here, which helps to nourish and condition the brows and gives this a nice, comfortable, flexible hold. A lot of other brow gels I've used in the past, they can be kind of drying and crunchy on the brows, and this is not like that at all. It does give you a nice, firm hold. My brows definitely don't budge, but it's not drying or crunchy crunchy or uncomfortable. So I'll brush a couple layers through just to really help set my brows in place and give it that hold because like I said, this isn't really drying or crunchy or anything like that. So you can build it up a little bit and it still feels nice and comfortable on the brows. So that's pretty much it for the face. I just wanna go ahead and set everything in place one more time using a setting spray. So I'm taking this Jam Solution Marine Luminous Pearl Sun Spray, SPF 50, PA4+, and this is what this looks like. This actually doesn't say anywhere on here that this is specifically a setting spray or even like an SPF spray meant for the face, but it dries down really quickly. It leaves a nice natural skin-like finish. It doesn't have a greasy finish or anything like that. And it settles nice on top of makeup. You don't really have to work it in or anything like that. So I've been using it as a setting spray and it's worked perfectly fine. It's really helped to extend the longevity of my makeup. And again, this has that broad spectrum protection. So it is giving me a little bit more sun protection on top of everything else. So I'm just gonna go ahead and shake it up and I'm just gonna give my face a real quick spritz of this to just help set everything in place. All right, so I went ahead and hit the face with some setting spray, and this is what everything's looking like all locked in place. So I do just wanna go ahead and throw on a quick lip to finish everything off. I'm taking this sugar tinted lip treatment in the shade Honey. This has SPF 15 in it, which helps to protect your lips from the UV rays. And this shade Honey in particular is described as like a nice warm nude color. Works really well on me as like a my lip but better color. So I'm just gonna work that into the lip. All right, and that is the final look. So that is my updated everyday makeup routine for summer. So it's really not too different from my everyday makeup routine during any other time of the year. It's really just focused on evening out my skin tone and throwing on a little bit of a bronzer on top to just kind of give my skin some warmth and definition and make me look healthy. But as y'all saw, I did throw on a couple extra steps to really help improve the longevity of the makeup, help control the shine throughout the day, and also to help give me some added SPF protection. This is what I do during the summer months when I wanna do like an everyday makeup look. I want to wear a quick face, something nice and natural, but I want to make sure that it lasts all day and it's not going to go anywhere on me. This is what I do to lock my makeup in place and make sure that I'm good during these summer months. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Let me know down in the comments, what does your summertime makeup routine consist of? Do y'all wear makeup at all during the summer or do you just forgo it all together? What products do you love? Also, let me know down in the comments what you liked about this video, what you disliked. Let me know if you have any requests for any specific videos. So when I'm sitting down and thinking of things to film, I can keep those in 
mine. Like I said, if you haven't already, please be sure to just go ahead and click that subscribe button and the bell button as well so you can get a notification every time I upload a new video. And with that being said, I should be back shortly with new content. Bye.